Hi, good day. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a website, a dynamic website, a website like Facebook, like Twitter, and other platforms. All right, if you want to start, if you don't know anything like coding before, or you are in another department, not computer science, watching this video will be a special privilege for you to create your own website. In this video, I'm going to show you starting from episode 1 to the end. Please try to be watching the video from this episode 1 to the end. At the end of the day, you'll be able to create a website like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other platforms. What are the things you need to know when developing a website? Here, I'm not going to use any software to develop it. I'm going to write a code and develop a simple platform from A to the end. You need to learn HTML, HTML and CSS. The second thing you need to learn is JavaScript. You need jQuery also. jQuery. After this, depending on the server language you want to be writing, but in my video, I'm going to teach you PHP. So you need PHP and MySQL. So after these three or four languages, I believe you will be able to create your own website. All right, we are going to start from HTML and CSS. If you don't know anything about coding before, as I said earlier, you will start creating your own website like a comp science student. All right. We are going to start now. I'm going to show you how you can start by installing some software you'll be using to write your code. Here we go. All right, I'm being introduced to editor. What do you understand by editor? Editor is just a software you will use to write in your codes. At the same time, you need browser. You need browser. This will help you to run what you have typed in your editor here. And if you check this two, that what you need. You don't need any other software, any powerful software. You don't need them. Just have like Chrome, like Firefox, and other um, browsers like that. They work. And in this editor, I know of brackets. I like using brackets. You can use brackets. You can use brackets. Um, you can use um, Sublime. You can use Sublime. Um, you can use um, Komodo. Komodo. Depending on your taste. But in this our tutorial, I'm going to use sublime throughout and in my browser i'm going to use uh google chrome throughout now let's start if you don't have sublime before go to this website go to this website Go to this website.
that's webbuilder7.com slash sublime go to this website if you enter this URL into your browser it will take you to where you download sublime let me show you how you install it let's assume you downloaded the sublime here then you will unzip it All right, it's is there. Now what will you do? Go to sublime underscore text, right click on it, then pin to taskbar. If you click here, you can see it comes here. So that is sublime. When you click on it, you can see what it shows. All right, let's start. I have Google Chrome before. So what remains now is we need to learn some elements and what is the menu of HTML. We've said it earlier that you are writing your code inside Sublime. This is Sublime. This is Sublime. So before you start, the first language you will learn is this HTML. Come to this place. Click on plain text. Look for HTML. Click on it. You can see this is HTML. The first thing you do to start writing HTML code less than which is angle bracket HTML. You can see it shows the rest. Press enter. Now it shows tight. What do you understand by tight? Let me write something here. Title. What does this mean? Let's save this file first. To save is Control S. Write the name of your file. You can create a folder where you'll be keeping your documents. Let's create a file on desktop and call it examples. So my file is, let me call it index.html. You can name it any name. After this, right click and open in browser. If you don't want to pass through this place, you can go straight to your file. Examples folder, there's the file, then click on it. What does it show? 